Hey y'all, APTJ here, and today we're going to work on a little journal thing that um, I had showed at one of my live streams, and a couple of people asked uh, to see how I made it, so that's what we're going to do. It is a no sew binding. And right here I'm cutting my inside pages. This also works for single sheets. However, in this particular one, I'm making, um, I'm just taking my cut pages and I'm going to fold them in half and essentially that becomes a signature. But this will also work for single sheets, okay? And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do this. It's a longish video. Let me see, how longish is it? I don't know. It's like under 30 minutes, though. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Yeah, I think it's under 25 minutes. Any hoots. So I've cut them down to size. I have no particular purpose for this book other than showing how I um, put it together. This is not the actual one I had in the video. I guess I could have showed that to you, but y'all know how I am. So I'm thinking about something or I'm doing something over there. I'm going to round the corners. That's what I'm doing. Going to round the corners. All this is just kind of like, you know, fluff. Y'all know me. Got this new editing software that, you know, I really don't know how to use, so there we go. Well, there we have it. That's the truth. So I'm going to use this here faux tip board for my cover. And I'm just going to trim it out slowly. More slowly. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. And I'm going to be making it down to size because it's just going to be slightly larger than um, well, my plan, my plans make the cover just a wee bit larger than the inside pages. So yeah, and roughing up the shiny stuff. You some you don't necessarily have to do this. I do tend to do it. Even though I've done it, uh, I've done, I've, I've glued stuff and painted on it without sanding off the shininess. But yeah, you know, it's kind of whatever you want to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm waiting for the remainder of the glue to fall out of that bottle. You know, it's my favorite, but I, I got to use every last drop. I want to get ever, ever one of my pennies out of that bottle. Okay. Ever one. I'm just smearing that around. I'm working on top of my glue book. It's not a book I glue in. It's a book I glue on. <laughs> so there we go. I'm gonna fold that and get it out of the way. Try to get some of the sticky off my fingers. Cause this is just all black. Cause you know, I couldn't have picked a better color to show y'all. Okay. How? Um, yeah. So there's my little wooden rolly thing. So I can smoosh it all together and make them get all nice and happily married and all that good kind of stuff. So like I said, this is my uh, first editing foray. Foray, foray. This is my first try mm, with this editing software. It's okay. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Because, you know, I had all the computer issues, blah, 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 ad nauseum, blah, blah, blah. Had to get the new computer, had to get the new rep computer replaced, blah, blah, blah. I know it's old news. It's real old news by now, but, you know, if I think about it too hard, it's still extremely frustrating. And I'm really glad I had a few videos, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just getting that all nice and married. Good trim it up. Y'all pretty much know how to do a cover. I do not do this cover to the best of my abilities. I don't know. Sometimes I just, you know, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> For one thing, I should not have rounded the corners on my cover. That made it a little more harder. -er. More harder. -er. Less easy. Est. <laughs> oh. 
and I can't get the microphone to work on the new computer so there we have it so I've gone back to my old-fashioned talking into my digital recorder and gonna try that method lords 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 so just using the bone folder not a real bone to uh, ease these edges over and, and I am getting them kind of bent and folded over before I put any more glue on this whole thing's going to be black as you'll see I'm going to put black on the inside because I don't know <laughs> that's the color I wanted to use I guess I don't know I, could I don't know you know what my husband said now we're going to wait for more glue to fall out of that bottle my husband when he saw it he says well I like it but it's a little black book what are you going to do with it and I'm like I don't know <laughs> and there we have it as you can see that doesn't have a whole lot of glue on it but it's still stuck really well just saying just saying so this is where I kind of figured out how to speed it up some some <laughs> oh people I love you I appreciate each and every one of you in case you hadn't heard that for a while uh, 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 ever video ever video and ever live show just saying cuz yeah and yes I know I missed a live show this month but um, or in October not this month holy cow but it happens you know it was bound to happen sooner or later y'all let me anyway <laughs> just saying gives you better so finally we're going to put the inside paper on the inside of that cover as you can see it's it's black I know the whole thing is black it's a little black book y'all it's small ish we can see how small it is sort of see it's small mm -hmm. I'm just going to smoosh that extra over there for right now the main thing is to try operative word try not to get the glue on the front part of my paper because it changes it kind of deepens the black color just a little you can do that and it changes the sheen of it so I'm trying to be careful about that and when I glue my little strips on in a little while which you'll see eventually <laughs> pretty, pretty sure you will eventually we'll see I, I do get some clue on it but that's you know it's okay this is a handmade thing and it's not perfect it's just like me perfectly imperfect so gonna roll that on there and I did real good about not getting too much glue on it so I didn't have too much glue squish out now one corner of the rounded corner my paper didn't get wrapped around real good because I kept my paper too short you know my card stock, it's card stock not really paper so I put just a little touch of black paint on it but you'd never know you probably couldn't even know I don't even know if you could see it in the photo montage because yes there's still going to be a photo montage I figured that part out mm -hmm. and this is going to be for the other inside cover waiting for the glue to come out I got just a little after this project I have still just a little bit left in there but I think next time I'm gonna cut that bottle open mm-hmm I'm gonna cut it open and dip it out just saying cause I want every bit of my money's worth out of that big old bottle y'all just saying I'm gonna smoosh this one down one's for the front and one's for the back cover roll it down now after this I go and smash it under a book while I uh, this is just some black fabric because you know it's not black enough already <laughs> excuse me y'all I'm having allergy issues and oh. so I'm just taking strips and they're about half an inch you know it's about yeah the width of my finger and thumbnail not fingernail thumbnail and uh, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of cotton fabric I don't know it's fairly heavy you know kind of heavy it's just not real light and I'm pulling off the little strings because you know when you rip it like that it gets strings but it tears straight and that's the best part of doing it this way it tears straight whereas when you cut it you might not cut it so straight because you know sometimes that happens so it's just checking to make sure my pages fit okay on that cover after I you know did all that 
So I'm just going to trim these down and I don't know how long these are. They're long enough. They're long enough to flip from one side to the other. You'll see. What is that? Like an inch and a half, I think? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, or I did pour some glue out, because uh, I didn't make y'all suffer through watching that glue come out of that bottle in here, and I'm going to put it on my finger. I'd, I'd have done better if I'd have put it on a brush, because then I'd have got less glue everywhere, but you know, so, so it goes when I just insist, inevitably insist on doing some things more difficult. My husband says sometimes I'm difficult. And I'm like, yeah, but you like it. <laughs> so I'm putting glue on one side, on each side of the fabric in the end. I'm trying to avoid the middle somewhat. Okay? Just, just slightly trying to avoid it. And let's stick it down about, about there. I didn't make any measurements or any pencil marks. I'm just sticking it down about there. And that's probably... Um, a quarter to half an inch more or less away from the edge and uh, those are my inside signatures you know one one long sheet well it's not really long but one sheet of cardstock folded in half okay so each side is yeah and I'm going real slow again because I want to make sure you can see me actually I couldn't figure out how to speed it up sometimes I just I'm just like I, I, I just don't know I need to get my friend blade over here and he's kind of my house. My studio. I got a little glue smooshed out right there. Darn it. That's alright. It'll be okay. Y'all won't even know. Cause, and then see how it just folds right up. Okay? Now there's a few options with this type of binding. I don't know what this binding is called. It's just something I... I thought about and I made I thought I made up I'm sure I didn't make it up because there's nothing new under the sun especially in arts y'all book binding I'm sure there's just you know tons tons of stuff done this way you can also use uh, you know cardstock paper bits for this you don't have to use fabric y'all this is a no sew binding all right, so you can use cardstock if you want to. I wanted to use fabric because that's what I did in the original one. And um, oh, and speaking of, um, Kylie Koo has a video on using uh, fabric strips, almost just like this, almost. Okay, all right. So uh, if I remember. That being an operative word. I've got a lot of operative words, y'all. Um, if I remember, I will put a link in the description box below, and I will try to link to her channel. I don't think it lets me link directly to a specific video, but I will try. Okay? But check the description box. You know, click on the word more to see more, and you'll see lots of other information, too. So we're just going to slowly keep adding these um these strips of fabric and then I rip some more because I need some more and you know because I, I don't know how many pages I was doing just however many I did how many I did but notice I am putting the glue on the ends and trying to avoid the middle because I don't want to glue in the middle I don't want the pages stuck to each other I just want them stuck to the fabric okay like I said you can use cardstock and also um if you wanted to, if you were like doing single leaf pages and you wanted to try it this way, uh, you can, you know, just put them together like this and then sew, sew through those signatures inside things, you know, just like you would a folded piece of paper because you could do it that way too, just saying. Because, yeah, I think I speed up here just any day now. And I just keep doing this for all my, oh, there we go, finally, whew. Uh, all of them. And I'm just, you know, cutting some more little pieces here. And, and I didn't measure them. I just kind of kind of eyeballed it, you know. I have rulers. I just don't answer to them. And I think every once in a while, y'all get to see the top of my pretty head. <laughs> my pretty hair. Just saying so. And I'm trying to keep the glue wiped off my fingers and I'm doing okay. And I'm just kind of looking when I hold it up like that. I'm kind of looking to make sure I've kind of got my strips all, you know, pretty much in the same location. 
they don't have to be precise. Kylie Coos are not precise. Her journal is adorable. Just saying. Y'all probably already seen it, but I'll link to it anyway because it's cool. So I'm just checking to see that it's kind of matching up and trying to hurry up. And I guess I could have cut out some of this and instead of it being, you know, under 25 minutes, it might have could have been under 15. But, you know, we're talking about me here, people, and I like showing y'all stuff. That one I really got a lot, a lot of uh, glue. Now that paper that I'm wrapping around there, that is baking parchment paper and nothing sticks to it, y'all. I mean nothing sticks to it that I've ever used so far anyway. It's slick, 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 slick. And so I'm just putting it in there to help keep uh, the fabric from sticking to itself and sticking, you know, where I don't want it stuck. So now we're about ready to put our cover on. I know, finally, finally, y'all, we're going to do it. So uh, I'm going to have to go fetch the cover. Here it is. I don't know how much I piddle far it around with deciding which is front and which is front, the back because, you know, they're both, it's all black, y'all. It's, you know, it's upside down. I don't know if it's upside down because, you know, it's just a little black book. Black is so dramatic sometimes. Let's pour down some more of that blue. Now, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, I do, but I don't. So I'm putting the strip on the inside part of the cover. And you're going to notice I get all flipply floppily. But, you know, what's new? That's why you love me, right? Because I'm just so natural. <laughs> yes. Because I'm so natural. Okay, folding that up. Trying to stick it down there and just fumbling around. Fumbling around. Here we go, lining it up, looking at it, smooshing it. Do I like it? Is it sticking? Yeah, it's sticking. It's doing okay. It's okay. Let's do the back. So now we flipped over to the back, and we're going to do the same thing. Now, these strips are a little shorter than what I had on the pages, and that's okay because it's still working. And once again, I'm trying to just get glue mostly on the end and uh, trying to not have quite so much in the middle. I don't always succeed on that, and that seems to be okay. Okay, rolling that up. I'm fixing to flip that cover. And there's still no front or back cover on this, okay? Even when I finished it, there's, you know, it could be the other way, it could be the front. Now these strips are just a wee bit longer because they're going to wrap all the way over the spine area from the back cover all the way to the front cover and I'm trying to line it up with the other fabric strips that are already on there. Oh, I needed just a uh, little more glue to have gun. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stick it on there. All right, there we go. And then I let it dry. You know, I don't remember if this dried, you know, it probably just dried overnight now that I think about it. Can you see? Can you see all that blackness on there? <coughs> Excuse me, I decided I was going to put a closure on it because I don't know how, I don't know what I'm going to put in it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how full or anything it's going to be. But we're going to stay with that black mo mo motif, y'all. And I'm just marking out for some, I'm going to uh, use the crop dial and punch a little, uh, couple little holes in there and put some little black eyelets in there because, you know, we needed more black in this book. And uh, then I'm going to use a piece of little black elastic. Elastic? Ha <laughs> elastic. You know, to run through there. Say a little tiny eyelet. And uh, the uh, elastic, you know, when you buy when you buy flip flops in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, you know, because they're our they're our winter time. Well, when when it's winter time around here, we wear socks with our flip flops. Just saying. So anyway, it's you know when you get them from the WalMarts, they come and they have got that piece of elastic on there, and that's perfect for this closure. 
Well, that and you can buy it too in, in the uh, in the fabric notions department. Just saying. And I just threaded it through there, and I'm tight, putting a knot on the inside of the journal. I had to, had to fiddle with it just for a minute. Oh, I hope you can hear me. Get ready, because we're going to have photo montage any second, any day. I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly, look at that. It just flip flops so, oh, so cool. It's really neat, and I'm really happy with it. Photo montage. You can see it's just a little bit of my glue, and of course, you know, black shows every little molly hair that you got, and every little dust bunny that's ever been in your house, ever, forever, and ever. So. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to kind comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you've not already done so, uh, share my videos because I know you love to share them, and you know, it's just our, our little copyright disclaimer, and uh, thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.